calculated using the ICE table, where I stands for initial concentration or number of moles depending on the question, C stands for change and E stands for at equilibrium. The reason why we need to use the ICE table is because weak acids and bases only ionize partially in water. Hence, we need to find the actual amount of hydrogen or hydroxide ions that's ionized at equilibrium. Let's take a look at this question. Feel free to pause the video right now to digest the question. From the reversible sign here, we can tell that citric acid is a weak acid. To find its pH, we'll first just copy and write the equation from the question, then draw the ice table. What we need to do next is fill up the blanks in the table. So initially, before the citric acid molecule is ionized, its concentration is 0.22 mol per dm cube as stated in the question. And the amount of these dissociated ions are both zero. So now comes the question, how do we know the exact concentration of the acid molecule that's ionized? Well, since it's not stated in the question, we can let it be an unknown minus x. Since one mole of citric acid ionizes to form one mole of its conjugate base and one mole of hydrogen ions, we can write plus x for these two blanks. Do take note that if let's say two moles of hydrogen ions are produced instead, we will then write 2x accordingly. Hence, at equilibrium, there will be 0.22 minus x mole per dm cube of the citric acid molecule left and x mole per dm cube of the conjugate base and hydrogen ions formed respectively. From here, remember that our end goal is to find out the pH of ionized hydrogen ions. To do that, we can write the k expression and equate it to 7.4 times 10 to the power of negative 4 as stated in the question. Then, we can substitute these values at the equilibrium from the ice table into the ka expression. So what's left to do is just to find x. But before that, since citric acid is a weak acid, we can assume that x is so small and insignificant compared to 0.22, we can rewrite the denominator of 0.22 minus x to be effectively just 0.22. Hence, x will be equals to 0.012759 mol per dm cube, rounded off to 5 significant figures. Lastly, the pH of citric acid will be negative log the concentration of the hydrogen ions, which will give you 1.89, rounded off to 3 significant figures. The ice table can also be used to find the pH of weak bases. Take this question for example. Again, feel free to pause the video right now to digest the question. To find the pH of ammonia, we first have to write out the equation when it is ionized in water, then join the ice table. Now, let's fill in the blanks. The initial concentration of ammonia is 0.100 mol per dm cube as stated in the question, and the initial concentrations for the ammonium and hydroxide ions are zero. Take note, we don't need to address the water here as it is just a solvent and it does not take part in the dissociation. So we can just treat it as if it's invisible. Then, for the change in concentration, we can write minus x and plus x for the rest. So at equilibrium, there will be 0.100 minus x mol per dm cube of ammonia left and x mol per dm cube of ammonium and hydroxide ions formed respectively. Then, since we want to find the unknown x, we will make use of the Kb expression. And since ammonia is a weak base, we can assume that x is very much smaller than 0.100. Hence, we can rewrite the denominator to be effectively just 0.100 instead. So X, which is also the concentration of hydroxide ions present at equilibrium, is 1.3191 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mol per dm cube, rounded off to 5 significant figures. So the POH will be 2.88. And because we are finding the pH, we will need to take 14 minus 2.88, which will give us 11.1. 